Our next setting is the zoom setting, and the zoom, similar to like the panning, allows us to adjust how we zoom in and out, and how we have a and the smoothness or the fall off when we uh, complete our zoom. So the first part of the zoom, we can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel or the plus and minus key, and then we can change it to an invert. So if we go down, it goes in, and if we go up, it goes out. So nice and simple with the invert, we have a min distance and a max distance for how far are we allowed to go in and out. So you can adjust those so that you're not able to zoom in as close. So if we're trying to limit how close we get, we can adjust that one. And if we want to try to get more space, we can adjust it so that we can zoom further and further out. So we'll set it on our defaults, 1 and 30. On the right hand side we have our smoothness, so again, like with the panning, once you do the action it's going to have a little bit of a smoothing in to its final uh, position. You can adjust the speed of the smooth, so if you want it to be faster, it's going to come in. It's going to look more rough doing it that way, but if it's the way you want to do it, you can also adjust the fall off distance and the increment, and the increment is just how quickly does it come in and out. Instead of doing one at a time, it's going to be doing 19 at a time, so we're going to be going a lot quicker with it. And of course, you can also take your smoothing off so that as you go, there's no smoothing and it's just kind of jumping from one position to the next position. All right, we'll bump those back down. Get a nice little smooth fall off. There we go.